Welcome to this video tutorial on using layers to create a card in Corel Paint Shop Pro. In this demonstration, we will show you how to create a wedding card using four basic layers for a background, a pattern, a photo, and then text. Layers are like virtual pages that you can stack, reorder, and change in almost any way you like. So let's get started. You'll learn more about layers as we work through this project. First, launch Corel Paint Shop Pro and make sure that the Edit Workspace is active. You will also need to have the Organizer palette open for this example. To do this, from the View menu, select Palettes and then click Organizer. Click File and then New. Change the units to inches and enter 6 inches for the width and 5 inches for the height and then 300 dpi for the resolution. Make sure that the transparency option is unchecked and then select a background. In this example, I'll select a pink background and then click OK. From the Layers menu, select New Raster Layer and then click OK. You will see the layer appear in the Layers palette on the right side of the screen. If the Layers palette is closed, you can open it by pressing the F8 key on your keyboard. You can rename a layer by right-clicking on it and choosing Rename. In this example, I'll rename this layer as Pattern because that is what I'm going to be using the layer for. Now, I will add a pattern that will cover the background. Click on the Flood Fill tool and then, from the Materials palette, click on the Pattern button from the Style drop-down list. To choose the pattern you want, click on the Swatch to access the Pattern tab in the Material Properties dialog box. I can click on the Pattern drop-down list and select a different pattern. In this example, I'll select Floral, change the scale to 200, and then click OK. Click once on the image to apply the fill. On the Layers palette, you can adjust the opacity of the layer to make it blend in with the layer below. Reduce the opacity of the pattern layer to 40% for a more subtle look. Now you can see that some of the pink background is blending nicely with the pattern. Next, I'll open a photograph that I'll be using on the card. To copy this image over the project, simply drag the thumbnail from the organizer over to the Layers palette and it'll automatically paste as a new layer. As you can see, it has put the photo directly on the top layer. Now you can click on the image and reposition it as need be. Click on the Text tool in the Tools toolbar and then click the project. When you type in text, PaintShop Pro automatically creates a vector layer in the Layers palette. Vector layers are used for text and other scalable objects, such as shapes. This ensures the highest quality when adjusting the size of these components compared to pixel-based raster layers. When you've finished entering the text, click File, Save As, and select a PSP image file. This ensures that your layers will remain intact if you want to make changes to your project later. Next, save a copy as a JPEG. This version can be uploaded to print shops and other locations that may not have PaintShop Pro installed. When saving a multi-layer project as a JPEG file, you will get a warning message because JPEGs can only contain a single layer, so the layers must be merged. Sometimes this is referred to as flattening the image. Click OK to this message to continue. Click Yes to continue. Now the file is ready to print and send. Thank you for watching this video on using layers to create a card in PaintShop Pro.